Something about this wall strikes me as odd, but there's nothing here. I must have been mistaken. Hello? Is somebody in there? No. Well, all right then. Oh, they're gone. I almost suffocated again, but never mind. <laughs> Those morons will never find me. Never. I am so clever. Dooby dooby doo. Ahem. The cook is the cleverest fellow. Nobody finds the place where he hid. They're searching in every dark hollow. Ahem. They're searching in the darkest eye. What? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you. Hey, you in that suit of armor. Hello. I found you. Don't pretend now. I know you're in there. But I'm not. I can see you. Maybe you suffer from hallucinations. Ah, so you're an hallucination that answers questions? Let's see. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just a figment of your imagination. Why would you hide then? I'm not hiding. I'm not here at all. Oh, in that case, I can go and tell everyone your hiding place. What? No! Why shouldn't I give you away? Because you're an honest person. I'm not a betraying Asgill. If you're not in there, the hiding spot would be unoccupied, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, my guy. So I could go and tell everyone. No damage done. What? Who do you want to tell? Well, who do you think? I'll tell it to your boss. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. You don't even know his name. His name is Yuko. Oh, oh yeah. So, what are you gonna tell him? I'll tell him I know where the cook is. No, don't do that. Please, I'm begging you. Yuko will kill me. Okay, once again. Why are you hiding from Yuko? Well, why do you think? I messed up his favorite dish, like the last three cooks. But I don't want to end up like them. Please don't leave me away. What is his favorite dish? Mildew soup. Yuck, Grandpa used to make that too. Hey, it's a traditional Asgill dish. A real delicacy. Mind you, the mildew soup was way better than his wart stew. It's not... Easy making a good mildew soup, you know. The recipe is an ancient secret. Only the very best cooks can make it right. But you know the recipe. Basically, yes, but not really that well. It never comes out right when I make it. And now Luco wants to turn me inside out. Oh dear, oh dear. Can you tell me the recipe? Never. It's a secret. Hello, Yuko. Ha. I'm not scared. You're bluffing. I know where the cook is. Don't strain yourself. I'm not impressed. Just quit it, okay? Up here, in the armory. Okay, okay. You win. I'll tell you the recipe. Quit screaming, will you? <laughs> now I'm curious. Well, you need something from the air. Something out of the ground. Something from the water. And something from yourself. What? Why don't you listen? Something from the air. Something out of the ground. 
something from the water, and something from yourself. Just a moment. That's not a recipe. That's a line for memorizing three of the four elements at best. I don't know anything else. Just leave me alone. See you later. Please, stay away from me. And don't forget, you've never seen me. Fire's very weak. The fire's very weak. I'd better put some more tinder on it. Mm -hmm. uh, typical. I'm even too weak to pick mushrooms. And who might you be, little fellow? Kerba? You're quite a funny little guy, aren't you? Yeah, that needs sharpening very badly. Ouch! Sparks in the eye! Sparks in the eye! Shoot! Finally, the road to the lion's den is open again. <laughs> You'll soon get over your singing, little birdie. I've heard the cook makes an excellent caterpillar soup. <laughs> Relax. It isn't your turn yet. Today, there's mildew soup on the menu. And you'll keep me company for the time being. The smell of fear helps me concentrate on my strategic planning. Let's see if I can give this little gem a final polish without losing my fingertips, that is. Oh dear. I seem to have overdone it a bit. The coin is sharp like an arrow now. My handiwork 
resembles an arrow, in a way. There! Hmm, I think I could make something out of this. Here we go. Hey, stay here. The trap is set. He presents himself on the proverbial silver platter. Believe it? I, I did it! Wow! I'm more dexterous than I thought. Something out of the ground. Something from the air. Something from the water. And now to add something from my chef. Amazing! It worked! I can cook! It actually paid off that I never looked over Grandpa's shoulder. Hey, Lidge! The soup is ready! What kind of noise is that out there? Just wait! If I miss the gong for mealtime, heads will roll! Mealtime gong. Gorney seems to have found a new cook already. I hope for his sake that he prepares a better mildew soup. I'm beginning to run out of staff. Ah! Nothing smells better than correctly cooked mildew soup. Perhaps I've ordered the execution of the cook prematurely. Mm. 